Remember what the note said. What time did it say to me? 6 a.m. The time doesn't matter! The note has nothing to do with trick talk! No, it's wrong! When I searched... When we found him in the repository, his... So then... Who killed Hifumi? Whoever did... The way Taka and Hifumi were killed was almost the same. With the... With... What was used to kill Hifumi? Was it just maybe just as well? There's one, how was the culprit? Able to move a how did nobody witness them carrying? Sounds like a ghost of hammer five for the fact to make it to check out murdergear.com slash Well, one thing see the murder weapon had to be one of the justice. No, it's wrong! The murder I'd also like to point out that the repot and I If that's true, that would explain the Monokuma files note about the so Based on the rules that have been laid out even if more than one per only the one who actually carried out the act assuming the rules hold true. It is simply impossible that you... That is how the rule was... Explained. But that only really applies if there's... In this case, however, there were two murders. Based on the rules, even if more than one... Only the one who actually... Assuming the rule holds true. That is... But that only really... In this case, however, there were two murders. Based on the rules, even if more than one, only the one who actually carried, assuming the rule holds true. No, it's wrong. Since there were, and I. Here's my answer! It was Celeste! Ah, so I'm the suspicious individual now, am I? <laughs> I really do hate this kind of joke. A joke? I wonder... So what you are saying, then, is that I specifically chose to work together with Hifumi.
The idea that I would choose to spend any amount of time interacting with him, that I would go within 10 feet of that shit from brains, that lazy, worthless, goddamn idiot! Uh, 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 pardon moi. Just to be clear, there is evidence to support it. Is that so? It is. Throughout the investigation, there was certain... A gun! It... Well, if Celeste and he f and <laughs> Celeste, you were the first one you Was, we must really be enjoying this, enjoying the sight of us standing around. They must be positively elated. We are all going to die here. We are going to die, just like those guys died. And that is all I said. And that's all it takes to finish this. It's obvious, isn't it, what was so strange about Celeste's comment? All I said, we must really enjoy the sight of us. They must be. We are all going to. We are going to die. And that is. And that's all it takes to. What was so strange about Celeste's comment? All I said, they must really enjoy the sight of us. They must be. We are all going to. We are going to die. Just like the. No, it's wrong. That's right. There's no reason Celeste should have said, just like those guys died. When she said that, none of us had told her Taka was dead. Exactly. And we didn't run into her until after we were all out in the hall. So there was never any chance for her to have seen his body in the equipment room for herself. So how did you know, Celeste? How did you know more than one person had been killed? And how did you know they were both guys? Because Kyoko had also disappeared, right? So she could have been dead too. <laughs> you all have such vivid imaginations, you know that? Imaginations? You claim that I was lying when I told you about the suspicious person I saw. Then what about the picture I took? How do you explain this picture of the costumed villain dragging Hifumi away? It, it has to be some kind of setup, right? So let's put the suit on, and then, then she used the camera's timer to, to set up the picture. Have you so quickly forgotten? You are the only one who could have possibly fit into that suit. Yes, I happen to know that this particular camera does not have a timer. In other words, it is an unassailable fact that this is a picture of Hifumi being dragged away. If everything I told you was a lie, how can this picture exist? Simple. Are we sure that's really a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away? What could you possibly mean by that? Surely there are other explanations than the one you've offered us. No, there is no other explanation. It's not a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away. I would say it's a picture of Hifumi dragging the suspect away. That's certainly within the realm of possibility. The one being dragged off in that picture isn't Hifumi, but the person in the robot suit. We've simply been led to believe that it's the other way around. 
and the strange costume might only exist to lead us astray even farther. If you saw someone wearing something like that in this situation, of course you'd notice and be suspicious. That's what happened! You put me to sleep and made me out to be the bad guy in all this! <laughs> <laughs> Such a thing... is utterly impossible! Hifumi was dragging him away? Ridiculous! Is it? I don't think it's ridiculous at all. Then shut your mouth and allow me to educate you. You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out! Then you just draped me across the Fumi and had him carry my weight! You tried to make me look like the bad guy! Like I said, ridiculous. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight like that. Then the fortune-telling idiot is the culprit! No way! Dress me up in that, then you just drape it. You tried to make me look like I said, as you can see in the picture. If the person in there's no way they could stand up straight, no, it's wrong. No, even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, they could still stand up like that because that Robo Justice suit had a certain characteristic. totally made a mistake when they made it, so it couldn't bend at the waist. I'm not so sure that was a mistake. I think the suit was designed from the beginning to be used the way it was. Celeste and Hifumi took the suit they'd specially designed and stuffed Hiro into it. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. The point of it all was to make us believe whoever was in the suit was to blame. <laughs> Well then, I suppose this is checkmate. Checkmate? <laughs> Don't make me laugh, you idiot! What do you mean, checkmate?! Celeste? Clearly, you want to cram me into your little guilty box. Well, there's one little problem. Have you already forgotten what Hifumi told us as he lay dying? When we asked him who had attacked him, his answer was quite clear, was it not? He said, and I quote, Yasuhiro! In other words, Yasuhiro Hakakure! Wait, but my name isn't really Yasuhiro! It's actually... Taro! Your confusing statements don't make any sense. You're only making things more complicated. He did say Yasuhiro, but are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hiro? What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you alive! Kyoko, what do you mean by that? back to how Hifumi used to talk to us. How did he refer to each of us? I got it! That's right! Our last names! He called us all by our last names! Exactly. I know I heard him say Mr. Nayagi more than once, for example. So if Hifumi did mean to say Hiro's name, he would have said his last name, Hagakure. I'm sure it was just incidental. By chance, he just... his first name. Indecent? Don't talk. Random chance. Now isn't that a convenient explanation? No. There's no reason to think he would have said the name any different than normal.
but he must have run out of energy before he could say any more. So Hifumi was trying to tell us the last name of whoever killed him? But the name he said doesn't apply to anyone here. Well, no. Hold on. There's one person it could apply to, and that's Celeste. She never actually told us what her real name is. What did you just say? To think you'd take your false accusation so far, I don't know whether to laugh or spit! Come on! Enough with your idiotic blather! Yasuhiro is a loser's name! Do I look like a loser to you? Well, do I? What? I think I've earned the right to be a little on edge. Okay, then fill us in. What's your real name? Fine! Make sure your ear holes are wide open and listen up! My real name is Celestia Ludenberg. Could you please stop making me repeat myself over and over again? Hifumi was trying to tell us something. He wanted us to know the killer's last name, Yasuhiro. If there's one person here who might have that last name... It would have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. How many times do I have to tell you? My name is... Celestia Ludenberg, God damn it! How long do you plan to go on pretending? I'm not pretending. It's the truth. And since you have no way to contradict me, that's the only truth there is! Moron! Hifumi was who wanted us to know the killer that there's one person... It would have to be you, Celeste. How many times are you? How long do you plan? I'm not pretending. And since you have no way to contradict me. No, that's wrong. That's it. The handbook. What? Anytime you turn your handbook on, it shows the owner's name when it boots up, right? Monokuma told us all about it before. So all we have to do is check her handbook, and that'll clear up everything. That's how we can find out Celeste's real name. That, that's an invasion of privacy. I, I refuse to cooperate. Celeste, can you please just tell us what really happened? Please, just tell us. When I'm put in check, it's just my nature not to give up. Because... 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 I might happen! Fine then. Let me settle it. Let me go over the case again. From the beginning. And shed light on all your crimes. And that'll bring everything to an end.
persuaded someone to help carry out the murder. And that person was... Kifumi. With an accomplice, the killer was able to execute a number of otherwise impossible schemes. What happened? First, they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at one in the morning. That someone they met with was Hero. The murderous duo intended to pass Hero off as the prime suspect. So when they met up with him, They drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the robo-justice suit. Next, Ifumi positioned himself to make it look like robo-justice was attacking him, while the killer used a digital camera to take pictures of the assault. They did all this just to create evidence that would put the suspicion on Hiro. When they were done with him, they shoved him, still unconscious, into the pool room locker. And then finally, at 6 a.m., they moved into the murder phase of their plan. They called Taka to the equipment room. And that's where Hifumi killed him, making it the scene of the first murder. 
The murder weapon was Justice Hammer 4, which was left there in the equipment room. The reason Hammer Number 4 was used was to create confusion about the order of the crimes. So, next they falsified two more assault incidents. For these attacks, the killers pretended to be the victims to solidify Robo Justice as the suspect. The first fake incident was the attack in the rec room. There, the killers wanted us to see Justice Hammer 1 and the Robo Justice pictures they'd taken. They wanted to make sure we bought the surprise attack store. The second fake incident was the attack in the library. This time, they planted Justice Hammer 2 and an injured Hifumi to sell us that story. With these two incidents, the killers were able to create a certain preconception in our minds. That the suspect was increasing the size of the hammers and attacking people in order as they did. We fell right into their trap and started looking for the suspect based on that. But... While we did that, we left Kifumi alone in the nurse's office. This was exactly what Kifumi was hoping for. He took a blood packet from the refrigerator and Justice Hammer 3 and turned the room into a crime scene in which he himself had apparently been brutally murdered. He let out a scream to draw us back, and when we returned, that's what we found. Meanwhile, the other group that had been out searching found Taka's body at the same time. So when we heard the body discovery announcement, we naturally assumed it was for Hifumi. We left the nurse's office, and Hifumi once again took advantage of the situation. He simply got up and made his escape. When we learned his body had disappeared, we all rushed back to the nurse's office. And once again, Hifumi had the chance he was waiting for. This time, he snuck into the equipment room. He wrapped Taka's body in a tarp and use the dolly to move it all the way down to the repository. That explains how each of the bodies disappeared. But even Hifumi didn't know what the true killer had in mind for their final act. Their plan all along was to kill Hifumi and get rid of the one person who could betray them. And they did it using an ordinary, everyday hammer from the repository. That should cover everything that happened in this case. And the villain behind it all is... You lose! I... lost? I lost? When was the last time I was forced to utter such words? They hang heavy around my neck. Then you admit it? You're the killer? <laughs> Listen to you, trying to take charge. As if you're my private instructor. I, Celestia Ludenberg. At Taiko, Yasuhiro is fine. Taiko? So, you finally accepted it. I'm the kind of person, once I've lost, I don't like things to drag on. Interesting.
Okay, Monokuma. I'm ready to begin. Or, no. I suppose this is the end, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. It is indeed the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to vote, okay? Okay. If you would, please locate your lever and cast your vote. And when the votes are tallied, who will become the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Honestly. I knew it. Just a second. <laughs> In other words... Indeed. I see. <laughs> Actually... What? Are you okay with this? <laughs> so then... For me... Oh, um... As for me... What? Unfortunate. Hmm? Actually... What? <sighs> 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 
Indeed. <sighs> this is completely un honestly. <laughs> I swear I will actually. Indeed. But... Are you okay with this? about that. Why? What the heck? Hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> this is fine.
There is nothing to be done. Just the worst. Oh. Do you understand? <laughs> Yes. 